Hello everyone, my name is Astro and welcome to this video. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different that we don't normally do on the channel, but somebody asked me to look at this video and uh, give my opinion on it, and so here we are. It's going to be a reaction content to one of the dumbest takes I have ever seen in my entire life about Star Citizen. So, just fair warning for you guys, uh, if you want to retain some brain cells, you may want to just leave the video right now. Um, <laughs> but if you do want to, uh, if you do want to hear this absolutely idiotic take on Star Citizen, and uh, and of course my thoughts and opinions about it, then feel free to stick around because uh, that's what we're going to be doing in this in this uh, video today. So. Um, and just just a remind just a reminder. Well, this well this guy clearly is suffering from some kind of being stupid. Uh, don't go and like harass him or bully him or anything like that. Yada yada yada. You you know the drill. You've heard this before from like other reaction content. You got you're adults. You're mature. You know what to do. Um, also, mm, eh, you know subscribe to my channel whatever let's get in let's get into this the title of this video is star citizen is a terrible game not worth playing in 2022 <sighs> let's take a look let's take a look at this let's take a look at this video i'll be pausing liberally to talk about things and um refute some of the points that this guy makes in this video, not that they're actually like intelligent points at all anyways, but I'm gonna show off Star Citizen to you, all right? I'm gonna tell you right now, Star Citizen is not a winner. This is not even really, a, I wouldn't even call this a game. All right, starting right off the bat, he wouldn't even call it a game. So the question is, what this? What does this guy define as a game? What is what is a game? Is a game something that uh, that you can interact with with your mouse and keyboard or a controller and control a character and walk around in? In that case, Star Citizen categorically is a game. <laughs> just because just because you don't enjoy a game doesn't mean that it's not uh, that it's not actually a game. Also, um, this also. Uh, comparing it to uh, com comparing it to you know fully released titles is not is not like exactly a great comparison considering Star Citizen is in alpha still and the developers recognize that they never say otherwise Star Citizen is an alpha experience uh, but it still has tons of content for people to enjoy this is going to be a very negative video about Star Citizen, so if you're a fan and you want to argue with me in the chat, uh, have fun. But uh, yeah, this is Star Citizen, so first thing you do, uh, again, there's like a... So the very the very first thing he does in his video is he, uh, is he attempts to antagonize people who play the game and the fans of, and the, fans of the game. Great job, buddy. Um... You know, you know, it, it might be better if you, you know, try to, you know, not alienate most of the audience that's going to be watching this video anyways. But, uh, you know, to each their own, I guess. Free week, that's why I'm playing it. I didn't pay for this. I'm never going to pay for this. I'm never going to play this, even if it goes free to play. Uh so you are, so you have been playing on the, so you have been playing on the free week. But uh, you, but you decide that you don't want to pay for the game. That's fine. If you don't like the game, then uh, if you don't like the game, then you don't have to play it. Nobody's forcing you to. Nobody's forcing you to pay for it. Um, you start off on a bed. Push W wakes you up. Old F left click to open doors. Um, it's really jank. Like why do I have to push two buttons to open a damn door? That's so because that's how interaction systems work, and a lot of games have very similar, very similar functionalities. Especially, uh, especially simulator type games. Um, not that he would know anything about that, because as we will see when we get a little bit further into this, I don't think he's ever played a simulator before. So stupid. 
All right, run to the end of the hallway, wherever you spawn. And by the way, just random NPC. This is not a player. This is not a player. This is an NPC. And um, yeah, he's just standing on a bench. I don't know why. Now this, this is a, uh, this is something legitimate that happens in Star Citizen. Is the NPCs will sometimes stand on chairs. And it's hilarious. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's really charming. It doesn't it's it doesn't impact the gameplay whatsoever. It's just really funny to see the NPCs occasionally standing on chairs. And even the developers acknowledge that they do it and they make they make uh they make fun of it. They I, I think it was around April Fools this year they did uh they part of the like April Fools patch was that the uh, NPCs had a the floor is lava mode where they will occasionally I'll just jump up on chairs because the floor is lava, <laughs> which I thought was which I thought was really funny. But yeah, NPCs stand on chairs occasionally. They do it much 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 less than they have in the past. Uh, they're getting better and better every single patch. The as the uh, AI systems improve. I also I have a medical gown on. I don't know why I have that on. You probably have a medical gown on because you died. And never bothered to take it off after you died. Let me equip this, and at least my inventory works. Most of the time, the inventory just like has a loading screen. Yes, a loading screen. And oh, yeah, that that's. I have never seen the inventory have a loading screen. Um, also, what he's about to talk about here, which is that he doesn't see his character. It's just because he's too close to a wall. Not working, huh? Uh, game is very, very busted, broken. Uh, look at the artifacting down there. I have a top of the line PC, and this game. Let me tell you, I've been playing that's... this game for. Okay, so I don't think that top of the line having a top of the line PC uh, will affect whether the game has slight artifacting or not. Um, but a game having very minor artifacting is not exactly something. It's it's not exactly like a. <laughs> it's not a condemning. It's not a feature to con to condemn it and you know nail it to a cross about because many many AAA games that come out have very similar issues. You know, occasionally things. Occasionally you'll have clipping or artifacting or whatever, and that's just kind of part of how games work for at least a day now like straight and um when you first open this game it loads like ass you're gonna stutter 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 like every few steps you won't even be able this to move true. properly but this is true and what is happening is the very first time you load into the game it is generating and and loading an entire planet uh, the planet that you are on and everything around it, the city that you spawn in, and and uh, committing all of the assets um, so that uh, so that once you have loaded in once, it is much much smoother every single time since then. Because I have it all preloaded, it looks very smooth. Uh, you, I have a top of the line gaming rig, exactly. and you probably don't. And it's gonna run like ass. The game is absolutely. Uh, that's actually that's actually not true. Um, that that may have been true. In, that may have been true in the past. And I feel like if he's playing during uh, during Invictus launch week, of course he's gonna be having some issues because during uh, during you know free fly events, performance is typically a little bit worse than it normally is. Um, just simply due to the sh the volume of people that are coming into the game, but um, but while that saying that it won't will not run on lower end rigs is not true, um, that may have been true this time last year, but uh, every single patch since three point fourteen has actually made really really big improvements to how the game runs specifically on lower end systems i have some people in my community that run the game on laptops not even like not even like high end gaming laptops like fairly old like mid range or even low range lower end laptops and um and they're they're able to play and run the 
game just fine. Um, just you know they may have to lower the settings a little bit i mean it's not like you're going to be running it on like ultra settings all the time <laughs> but um but yeah the game the game runs fine on on lower end systems unless you have just like a completely terrible pc if you're running something on like windows vista have like one gigabyte of ram yeah obviously it's not going to run on that so unoptimized but I don't think even like Minesweeper will run on that. So is in super bad. The game looks nice. The game does look pretty. It does look right, very but pretty. The game is just extremely tedious on how to play it. Okay, so uh, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna summon a ship that we get because we're free to play, and um, normally you'd have to pay like forty bucks for the ship. So you pay forty dollars for the ship, but it also comes with the game package, which means that you own the game and you permanently have the game and have access to the game. Um, that is spending forty dollars as opposed to you know sixty or seventy dollars that that you would usually play uh, pay with a um, uh, a triple A title, and that that includes that includes access to the Persistent Universe, uh, also Arena Commander and Star Marine, and it gets you a ship as well. Um, and then once you're in game, you can use that ship to earn money and every single other ship that uh that is available in the game uh you can purchase for in-game currency and you never have to spend another dime after that initial 40 dollars, which i think is a fairly good price <clears throat> for a game and then we're gonna go fly around in space for a bit and maybe do something else i don't know but um we gotta find out how to get to the space yard so i'm gonna take the metro yes that's right the very first thing this game wants you to do which they think you would find fun is take public transportation. That is correct. Uh, you take public transportation. You take public transportation a lot in this game. Actually, um, it's it's an integral part of getting around the getting around the cities, and it's part of what makes the game so immersive. Because the game is it's not just a it's not just a space shmup. You know, it's it's not just a an action game it's a simulator and part of what their goal is with star citizen is to allow the players to feel like they are living in this universe which is why they put so much work into making the cities have public transportation systems to making the ships have you know beds and live kitchens and bathrooms and living areas because because this is this is not just an action game it is a simulator and so part of that is being able being able to allow players the freedom to do whatever they want and the immersiveness to um to feel like they are actually living in this uh, in this universe to get to where you need to go and the game gives you the game doesn't tell you shit like the game doesn't tell you the absolutely tells you anything lot, of what actually he says the game doesn't tell you anything while well, he's looking at signs pointing you exactly to where you need to go you to get be to doing the space how to port. do anything the game doesn't have a little menu that opens up and says hey uh you, yes it yes it does you want to um you want to like here's how to move here's how to interact with the world Nope, none, none of that. You get nothing. The game tells you all of these things. Um, new players to the game may have noticed that uh, that when you first pull up the game, there is a little thing that consistently pops up here, down in the bottom center of the screen, with little tooltips telling you how to do different things in the game, how to interact with different systems, how to access different mechanics. What this guy has done is he has turned that functionality off. Now he is complaining that he doesn't have anything telling him to telling, uh, giving him information on how the game works and how to do different things because he has turned the tooltip system off. If you want to learn how to play this game, you've got to watch hours and hours of YouTubers, and uh, or like I, I've been a gamer for that is not, my entire. That is not correct. I made a video that very clearly and concisely shows new players how to uh, how to begin navigating and, and playing the game. And I think that video ended up being like 15 minutes long. So it's really not that long. Entire life. Since I was three years old, I've been able to play video games. Or you can, you know, just um, and jump in and... I've been able to intuitively uh, figure out video games. As jump a three in year old, and use the tool I was tips. able to beat just the regular Mario on the first NES and probably under... Okay. 
as a two-year-old, you were able to beat the the first Mario on the NES. Uh, the first Mario game had had literally two things that you could do. Uh, you could walk left and right, and you could jump. So good job. You learned how to push two buttons for like eight or seven minutes. Eventually, not not at first, of course. So, you know, it took a little bit of time to get. You get back a gold good, star. As an, a fully grown adult with a fully developed brain and countless years of gaming under my belt, I was not able to figure this game out at all. Then maybe your brain is not as fully developed as you thought it was. Uh, it's uh, it's just uh, stupid and ridiculous. And like I said, look, this looks pretty cool. It's like riding public transport, okay? Yeah, but after the really 100th cool. time, look how much time we have to wait. 37 more seconds of riding this thing before we get to... Oh no, 30 seconds of 30 seconds of uh, scenic view while you go from one place to another. Oh no. I understand that a lot of modern video games and it seems like the quality on this why are, why is it defaulting to why is it defaulting to uh, 480p? Anyways, I understand that a lot of uh, modern video games and a lot of the a lot of the things that uh, modern video games really um, really like to you know one one of the tenets is instant gratification so you're able to you know jump into jump into a game and get into the action immediately but that is not necessarily the case with a game like star citizen which is not trying to be you know action 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 all the time and at least for me part of what makes the game so special is those times in between you know in between action or in between you know whatever i love taking the taking the trams and the shuttles through the cities and just being able to look across the gorgeous landscapes or taking a ship out and cruising across the surface of a moon and just ex and just exploring and one and this is something that makes star citizen appealing to me is that it is extremely relaxing for me personally and i understand that i understand that that is not something for everybody not everybody can uh can enjoy stuff like that and so and so i understand that this may not be the type of game that this guy specifically enjoys that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad game it just means that it's a game that he does not personally enjoy it's it's not his kind of game anyways to our destination okay doesn't respect your time i know that term gets thrown around a lot but it's true this game does not have any give a, it don't give a fuck about your time all right and and it, oh god there's a reason games let you fast travel through this shit there's a reason games hit you with a loading screen that takes 10 seconds and been and then you're there and i and there's a reason that star citizen doesn't do that there's a reason that some games have loading screens between zones and there's a reason that other games don't have loading screens between zones because they are because they are trying to accomplish different goals you can't say that for instance for instance, let's talk about let's look at uh, let's look at the Legend of Zelda. People love Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Um, Ocarina of Time has loading zones between different areas. You know, when you walk into uh, when you you know walk up a path, and then it has a little loading zone, and then you're in a different area. Or you walk into a building and there's a little loading zone and then you're in the building. There's also Zelda Breath of the Wild, which has none of that. It doesn't have any loading zones. And the reason the reason for that is because they are trying to accomplish different things. And people love both of the games separately because while they do different things, they are individually good games in their own right. I get it. This this game wants to be all immersive. It wants you to be fully integrated, where if you want to go from point A to point B, you have to actually manually travel there. That However, exactly... that's not really entirely correct, because people will just bind to hospitals and then kill themselves so that they teleport around and 
do all sorts of other stupid jink shit. Um, in I never do that, actually. I never kill myself to teleport, and uh, and if you do that, uh, there is always the risk of, you know, losing equipment, losing um, guns or armor that you have equipped on you as they get as they get dropped on the ground. I don't do that. I love flying the ships. I love uh, I love the time that it takes to do things in this game. I think that it's I think that's incredibly immersive and incredibly relaxing, um, especially after after like a long day of work. Um, it, uh, it's, I, I, I enjoy it. And, and your <clears> ships, <throat> like, you can summon them across the galaxy in, like, 40 seconds, and, and you can pay a tiny little baby fee for it. It's really, really dumb. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know, man. It, so he's, so he's complaining that it take he's complaining that it takes 30 seconds to, uh, he's complaining that it takes 30 seconds to, uh, ride a tram but then he's complaining that it's unrealistic that it takes 30 seconds to claim a ship i don't know i want to like the game i want to i want it to succeed but it's not it's never going and see here's see here's the problem there's a problem right here i know i keep i know i keep pausing and i'm making this way longer that you say that you know you say that you want to like the game but you've already established from in the first 10 seconds of your video that you don't that you don't want to like the game that you have no interest in liking the game or playing it or wanting to, it to succeed at all um so you're contradicting yourself here going to succeed this is not even a, a game you can't call it a video game where's the gameplay right so what we're doing now is all around you there's plenty of gameplay there's tons of different gameplay loops and more on the way is um again this is such a fucking annoying maze if you especially if you have directional insanity like I do very that sounds like a personal problem I I personally have uh have a lot of issues with directions I get lost constantly in real life but I never get lost in the Star Citizen because uh because you know like happens in real life uh the first time you go to a new city you feel very lost and very overwhelmed um you don't know where you're going but when you spend some time in that city you learn how to navigate it you learn where things are and where you're going and this is something that happens in every single game for instance let's look at let's look at Elden Ring for example when you first start playing Elden Ring you get dropped in this great big giant old map and you have no idea where anything is and you have no idea where you where you're going other than the fact that some dude tells you that you don't have a maiden and that um, maybe there's a castle up on the hill that you should go to eventually but you don't have any real real guidance and you don't know where things are but once you've played through the game and you know once or twice you start learning where things are you start learning where you need to go if you want to get certain things or accomplish certain goals and that's uh, that's just part of part of you know putting time into a game learning how to navigate it and how to play it very hard to navigate so we're going to um oh by the way i have dupe ships uh, let's hope this works and it's not doing anything so it's not working uh, th this is like a main system in the game on how to pilot your ships, and it's it just doesn't work. And like you can, I'm hitting the button, nothing happens. So I'm gonna try hitting the button on this one, nothing happens. And here's what we're gonna have to do now. And uh, yes, uh, spamming the button is uh, definitely the um, best option to uh, fix things. Usually, if usually if you if your claim button is inactive, it's um, usually fixable by just backing out of the um, ASOP terminal and then getting back into it. Is we're gonna have to back out and go back? Just just go back out like and that. back into it. Here we go. I duped a ship. I have three ships now. Now this could free. Now this now this is this is a legitimate problem the duping ship thing it's super weird I don't know why it happens um, it normally doesn't happen but um, it, it seems to happen a lot during these free fly weeks 
um, which again is probably due to just the sheer amount of traffic that the game gets during these uh, during these free fly weeks, and it's it is it is a problem. It is a problem. I will agree with him here that it is uh, it is actually a problem. Freeze this screen here could just freeze me, but luckily it didn't, and it actually tells me where it's at. Hangar six, cool. Uh, so now, as a new player, where the hell? How do I get to Hangar six? Um, you know, where can I find that? Well, lucky for you. Look at the signs that say elevators to hangars, maybe. You, I've been playing for a full day, so I know exactly where to find the damn elevators. You know the big neon signs that you have hanging overhead? Great big neon signs with bold letters that say elevators to hangars. J just a thought. And uh, again, you may be thinking, hey, look at these cool, these are all players. This game is super populated. These are all NPCs. I re we have not, as of right now, ran into a single player character. We, not a single person out there is a player character that we've we've seen, and um, it's because they're elsewhere and uh, most likely over in Invictus. Hangar six, right? That's what it said. There we go. Hangar six. I believe I remembered that properly. And we can even see on the tooltip this elevator spirals. By the way, my ship isn't flying around; it's just spiraling. I don't know. <sighs> the people that play this game and the people that hype it up and think it's a good game, they're the ones that spent tons of money on it, and it's just their way of coping. All right, so we're at the ship. Or it's people who spent forty dollars on a game and really enjoy the really enjoy the game, and even though they have a small ship, they spend a lot of time playing it because they enjoy the game and enjoy the gameplay loops. You shouldn't just uh, you shouldn't just group everyone into one singular category so that you can uh, so you can try and dish out a very weak insult this little free to play ship um it's actually probably like 50 bucks if you you're not free to play um there we go so we're gonna or buy it for how much is it how much is a pisces not a lot it's very cheap to buy in game um if you want to uh if you want to buy it in game um it is a it's a great ship uh hang on give me a sec uh, Anvil, Pisces, 400,000 credits. Super easy to make that much in game. You can buy all the ships in game. Actually, go ahead and close this up because it's a full loop PvP game. Someone can hop in your ship, kill you, whatever. All right, yeah. we're going to hold F, left click the seat. That's to part sit of down. Star Citizen. Yes, and get look over at it. this animation. You got to sit in the chair, spin it around. Oh boy. So now we're in the pilot seat. I got to hold R to turn the shit on. There we go. All right. Now I have to hold. Or you can hold, you can press R, or you can um, find the power button on your console. Hold F, scroll down to my computer, click menu, click comms, click this, and this is going to tell the town I'm in um, to open the damn doors above us. So there we go. That's going to open the doors. All right, and now at this. And this is this is something that I actually uh, that I actually figured out by myself when I first started playing the game I got in my ship and I looked up and saw the hangar doors were closed and I thought oh I must need to call them to have them open the hangar doors and so I looked at the screens found the comms menu and called the spaceport I didn't have to look at a guide I didn't have to look at anything I just used my brain this time I'm gonna go ahead and lift off a bit and no, we don't want to crash. We're going to point up directly. We're just going to fly straight up. There we go. That's the faster way to take off. I see people that just, you know, hover straight up. All right. Now, I do have a lot of piloting games under my belt. I actually wanted to be a real-life pilot when I was a child. However, I was born um, legally blind. And so, therefore, I'm not allowed to be a pilot in real life. But I am an exceptional pilot in video games. So we are now going to throttle up. According to yourself, this, you are. Use our thrusters, and we're going to uh, get the hell out of this planet so that we can use the basically what's called the fast travel mechanic. And, and again, the graphics are pretty cool, um, but it's whatever. And yes, I am just blowing through all my boost. That's fine. I don't care. I don't need it. All right, and there we go. That's we're pretty much going almost nearly as fast as we possibly can. All right, and we're in space. There you go. We are now in space. Hooray. Yay, you're right. And you're like, well, what? And it feels so much more rewarding to fly up 
from a planet into space or from space down onto a planet than to have it be just a cut just a cut scene or a loading screen because it's you that's doing it you're the one that's in control and that's part of the charm what the fuck do we do now okay leaving restricted area we're gonna keep going what do you do now you do whatever you want because that's part that's the point just a bit all right And here we are. We are now in space, and you can look at the planet that we just left. It's over here. You haven't even retracted uh, your landing it. gear. Isn't it great? Not really. <laughs> okay. It is so great. What do we do? Oh, it's I gorgeous. have my landing gear out, of course. There we go. Just tuck that, tuck that bad boy back in. And no, I, I don't want to go back down into the planet. Why am I going... You're heck? going back down it's into like, the planet because you sort of have spiral. That's normally not because you have happen. your mouse oh, or my, your my, my look around key got stuck. Wow, nice game. That's the first time that's happened. You and had your mouse skewed again. to the side. There we go. Now I can navigate the ship. Clearly, you're not nice and proper. That great go. of a we'll pilot. If you, clearly, you're not that great of a pilot or great at controlling the ship. If you can't even recognize by looking by just looking at your hud that your that your mouse or your th or your joystick is um skewed off to the side which is causing your ship to rotate but okay so <laughs> again the game doesn't tell you how to do any of this shit so we're gonna open a little minute yeah because to people with a brain it should be very intuitive you here and what you would normally do is um you would go to a little mission section here and uh you can do different missions so i'm gonna do uh what is this i don't know about that one we'll we'll do assist in defending the site there we go accept the offer and it tracked it automatically for us so that's cool uh, i'm gonna go back and there's another one i'm gonna go ahead and click alt the surveillance no or move claim jumpers yeah Call, call arms, there we go, we're going to do that one. But basically, it's just like two quests in one, sort of. Anyway, all right, and now this should be tracked. I'm going to go to down here, and uh, dang it, where is it? It's on the planet. It's it, it's on the planet, if I remember correctly. All right, and with that said, we'll do the fast travel mechanic now. So we're going to scroll. Let's see, go to HCF Rufus. I don't know if that's where we need to be, but let's just try it anyway. See what happens. That is, where you need, die because that is where you need to be. Stupid. So we're going to activate our quantum drive, oh, of course. You know, there we go. Everything is ready. It's 1,700 kilometers away. And, he and uh, it didn't work, off. so we're going to try it again. All right. Second time is the charm. So he's complaining about the quantum drive not working, but what he did there was he just pushed the button to turn it off. This one will maybe work. And uh, there we go. Okay, so what that's going to basically do is it's going to loop us to the other side of the planet, which is, I assume, that's where this mission is. And I don't think my character has a gun, but that's okay. The AI is really bad. I can just punch them out and take their guns, um, if necessary. But also assuming that the game doesn't just shoot me down for trespassing or something, I, I, don't, I have no idea how this shit works. Um, because the YouTubers that made videos on how to so, do this made it a year ago. So how much do you guys want to bet that this guy is going to go, run in, get shot, and then complain that he got shot because he ran into a armed bunker without a gun? Oh, and it's already outdated. <laughs> and no one's really bothered to update this kind of stuff, right? All right, so we've looped around to the other side of the planet via some sort of warp drive thingamajig. And, uh, yeah, now we're just going to... Hold our movement key and fly directly at whatever this shit is. All right, let's uh, let's get to driving. Just use our thrusters and just freaking hold forward on it. All right, assist in defending the site. It says too close. I mean, you it's still too have... close to a warp drive too, so ignore, yeah. ignore the, the heads up okay. display. We're fine. He figured out We're how fine. to turn his quantum drive off. Good for kilometers him. to go. All right. Yep. Yeah. Still going. We can even light up the, we can turn our lights on, but we're still too far away from the, the planet's surface. Nine thousand. Uh, you're very 8, close. You're very close to the planet's surface, actually. It is right. great. 
because it gives you the freedom to restricted fly area. Here to we go. Whatever, so what that means now is want. that they're going to shoot at us if we fly too close. I don't know how to. They are. They are not going to shoot make at it you. unrestricted. <clears throat> so um, I'm trying to you know hail them. That doesn't do anything. Also, they have radar lock. That's what this says. Radar lock. Um, yeah. So. Um, essentially, if I try to go down here and do the quest, I'm going to get because shot out of the sky. No, this is also going to mark me not. as a criminal and send me to a criminal planet. Very, very nice for newbies. You know, being sent away from because the you zone, have the mission. Which, there's really nothing noob about the noob. Because zone. you have the yep, mission. Here comes the shots. So there's nothing we can really do about about that. They should not you know? be shooting at you. Um, Interesting. <laughs> uh, I could try landing. I'm going to open the landing gear. It's uh. There we go. Or you could try, I'm you know, close to the landing somewhere land. okay, that there we go. Uh, can't be targeted <laughs> by the uh, and yeah, we're still we're still being shot turret. at. Let's just uh, let's just take off. Fuck it. Again, I don't know what to do here. It's about half the time die. with these missions. Can I the shoot back turrets, at this thing? It's about half the time with these missions. The turrets will be active and will shoot at you. The other half, they will not be active unless you shoot at them first. Um, so this is one of the so this is one of the former ones, uh, which I which I didn't which I didn't realize. Um, <clears throat> essentially, essentially, what you need to do on these ones is you either need to destroy the turret, or just land your ship somewhere that the turret cannot shoot you, and approach the bunker on foot. Maybe. It it just decided to stop shooting me for some reason. I don't know why. Shields this are critical. Is something though. that, you know, logically would make sense, but apparently this guy doesn't understand what that means. So. I, again, I don't know why it just decided. Hey, I'm going to stop shooting you, but whatever. It works in our favor. Let's uh, zero out the plane. Look at these uh, nice lighting effects here. Get that landing gear back out. Oh, it was already out. Let's come on, landing gear. Get that landing gear back out. There we go. And we're just gonna Deployed. collision alert. Yes, I know. I'm trying to land. There's no collision. All right, cool. So we're landed, and we're gonna turn the ship off so that a gust of wind doesn't blow it away. I'm going to step out of the pilot seat now, and um, yeah, you can see it's all smoky and damaged because we got shot at, obviously. Now, I don't have a gun or a weapon or any healing items, so uh, we're just going to go fist some bad guys. <laughs> let's let's see how this guy tackles uh, this Yes, mission. that's right. We're going to just box them. I'm just going to beat the heck out of them. All right, and can I can I shut the door with my fists out, or is the, uh, I have to put my fist? Do I really have to put my fist away to uh -oh, close the door? Gosh, hello, game? Let me close my damn door. All right, well, the game just won't let me close my door, so someone can just come and jack my ship now and leave me stranded. Yes, this happens when your ship gets uh, gets heavily damaged. Sometimes uh, sometimes things break, like doors, uh, like ramps will stop functioning. Um, things will um, work more slowly. That is called things being damaged until I suicide <clears throat> and spawn in a, and whatever I, I don't know why it won't let me shut the ship door so um all right let's uh, let's just go in here I did that remaining this four guy out of ten. Just that means NPCs are killing things or maybe there's another player killing things I don't know but um all I know is that don't hurt the yellow dudes kill the purple dudes what do we have here yeah. what is this I interact with it that's I a can. turn I can grip it all right, look at this. I got a little chain gun. See, the gun, the gunplay is not bad. The gunplay it ain't bad. Okay, but just the 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 way the controls are, it's so weird. It's just little. Could you? So you're you're complaining about the controls, but you don't want to give actual you know information about why you think that the controls are, as you say, weird. Odd. All right, can I open these doors? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Hmm. Those are shut because you're supposed to go is that, inside is the inside the central. Got to find a doorway. Uh, yeah, it looks like a nice little doorway. We can go in there and uh, probably go down an elevator as per the usual, and uh, then start killing dudes. Yeah, called it. Okay, let's, let's take it to sub level one. There we go. 
it's like a little dungeon. This is like a little Albion Online dungeon, okay? It's got bad guys, and get their loot, and get their armor. Assuming my inventory works. Right now, my inventory's not working. It's not because good. Because you're on an elevator. That's not good. <clears throat> yeah, let's put away our fists. Inventory. Also, sometimes inventory doesn't work in these bunkers, which is kind of a problem. Um, it's, it's really annoying. Um, but, um, yeah, just don't try to access your it's gone. elevators. We can't loot anything because the game bugged out. So, yep, yeah, enjoy that. I mean, geez. All right, let's go find some dudes. I'm going to punch them in the face, take their guns. All right. And the yellow guys are our friend, okay? He's he's shooting some purple dudes. That's fine. Yep, and purple dudes are dead. And check it out. Now we can just uh, yoink their gun. And there we go. Now we're armed. These Good job. Dudes. You figured out I don't, how to pick up like, a gun. I won't be able to store their gun. But hey, now we have a pretty nice gun at the start of the game. And uh, we can go. We can <clears throat> if you were wearing armor... Yeah, um, or a backpack. You could put the gun in the backpack or attach it to the armor. But because you're just in an undersuit, um, I think you can put one gun on your back. You can actually kill uh, other players too and take their ships and stuff if you want. But uh, yeah, like here's purple guy. Armor. There we go. If you've ever played a shooting game, this is incredibly easy. And hey, you know this part of the game actually works. You know, I feel like they made this before they made the space sim parts. But you know, it's it's whatever. It looks like there's. The AI <clears throat> in these bunkers is bad. <laughs> I will agree with him here. Um, they are not good. They are, but some sometimes sometimes they're good. If the if the server is running good, um, then the AI works good. If the server is not running good, then the AI doesn't work good. This will hopefully hopefully be addressed during uh, or when um, server meshing comes out. Um, um, late this year or early next year, I believe, is when it's um, slated for release, um, if I remember correctly. But um, yeah, that should fix a lot of issues with some dudes uh, AI upstairs too. So we can just uh, go up there, uh, take the stairs, and again, yellow guys are are our friends. It says there's four out of ten remaining when it said three out of ten earlier. So I don't know what's up with that, but whatever and uh that's where we came in at so there's no reason to go there again i get turned around a lot in these kinds of games i mean there's not really a compass or a little dungeon map or a mini map to help us out with any of this shit very I, uh not friendly to the gamer i think this hey, is just you know just whatever poor uh, this purple man poor Down situational goes. what's awareness. his gun Probably I do like to see that the, the um, yep, there we go. Now we have a fresh. I, I do like to see the right. stairs new, going up. Good. The new Nine Tails armor looks really good. Good. Even though the yellow guys aren't really going up with me. Well, there's a yellow guy up here. He's point. He's looking. He's looking up here. There we go. Took him out. Again, if you've ever played a Call of Duty game, then you're already like the AI didn't even give a shit. Didn't even shoot at me. I'm looking for LMG. That's the better gun. Is it? Was that a purple dude? I saw a movement over here. I saw a movement. I'm just, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just waiting for this guy to just get blasted in the face by one of these NPCs. Unfortunately, um, they vanished. I mean, rewind the video. Okay, maybe it was the yellow dude. Come on, yellow guys, you have aimbot. Tra track the bad guys for me. Right, we need to kill two more. There's a yellow guy. That purple guy. Yeah, see, look at this. Look, I just walked up behind them and they didn't do shit. I didn't... What kind of gun is this? A rifle? I haven't played with this this one yet. Alright. So, the meta is, as a new player, you generally want to come here and load up as much shit as you can and then take it back to your ship. And then you have a nice bunch of sets of gear, armor. Yeah, so, yeah, so at least he, at least he understands this. Um, that is something that you can, that you can do. Uh, you can go kill the NPCs, take their gear. And not have to spend any money whatsoever on armor, guns, etc. It's really nice. It means you can, um, because, because I mean, armor and guns are like not that expensive, but, um, but it is kind of a waste of money when you can just you know pretty much loot stuff for free um, until you get you know into the higher paying jobs, and then in which case you don't really have to worry about money anymore. Um, but that's just if you like doing the FPS but, stuff. But um, 
I don't know, man. Now, if I, I can kill these guys and loot them, that's fine. The game lets me do that. However, it immediately marks me as a criminal. It's not like... Yeah, because you shot a security slash law enforcement officer. Like uh, Skyrim, or maybe it is like Skyrim. <clears throat> um, there's no sneaking around that. There's no hiding the fact that you're a criminal. So that just gave us some in-game... There actually is. There is, uh, there are ways to, there are ways to get away with murder. The first is to, uh, the, the, and, and it kind of, it, it kind of comes into the same, um, the same functionality. So, so the first is to kill someone outside of, um, uh, outside of comms range. And the second is is to disable the comms arrays that are around a planet, which means that the entire planet uh, then goes out of comms range. So essentially, if you wanted to, you could knock out the comms array, come down and kill all, the, kill all these guys, and you wouldn't get a crime stat. Gain money for completing, what, two quests? And uh, we have this nice gun, however, I can't put this shit away. Now, let me show you why this is stupid. You can Hold put on. it away. Let's unholster this. It just drops it for some reason. I don't I don't know why. Um, holster this. See, I can holster that one. Like, there's supposed yeah. to be an inventory screen over here, and it's not there. I can't fucking get it. Th it'll... So... You're wearing an undersuit. Undersuits do not have storage in them. So you're not going to be able to put anything into them. There's not, it's not, there's not just like a global inventory that you can stuff things into and take things out of willy-nilly. Um, if you were wearing armor, especially medium or heavy armor, which has storage space, or a backpack you would be able to put things in and take things out of the backpack. Um, also, if you access loot crates, uh, you should be able to pull things out of loot crates. But because uh, because you are uh, because you are just attempting to um, brute force the game and you know just run around just run around in an undersuit and trying to intentionally do things incorrectly or um, do, do things as poorly as you can in order to cast the game in a bad light, um, which I which I don't know if it's I, I don't know if it's um, I I don't I don't know if he's just genuinely this dumb, or if it's or or if it's uh, or if it's just willful uh, willful ignorance and disregard, or if it's actual malice. Um, I I I'm not sure, but. Um, but it but it does it does seem like he is uh, he's actively trying to do everything that he possibly can to um to make the game seem like it is um not functioning correctly when actually it is he's wearing an undersuit which does not have any storage thus he would not have anywhere to put a gun it'll never pop up and you may be thinking well just just restart your game let me show you what happens when you restart your game okay my ship is outside of this when you restart the game, then you go back to the uh, you go. You're gonna go back to the. Uh, or you're gonna go back to Lorville, or, or, or go back to the last uh, LZ that you landed at, um, which is kind of annoying sometimes. Um, hopefully that gets fixed again with uh, with like server meshing and stuff like that. Okay, we're gonna go X to menu. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna close the menu, re log into the game. You would think a game like this would save your position. You would think a game like this would just make your character like sit down or go to bed like any other survival game. So we're gonna go ahead and re-enter the world. And guess what? It's gonna spawn us back in that bed. We have to ride the metro again to get to our ship. Uh, our ship, which will you know d didn't follow us, it's still on that planet. So you have to pay a fine to get it back. And uh, you don't have to pay a fine, actually. It's completely free, uh, unless you want to expedite it. But why would you? Why would you want to expedite a Pisces? It's like thirty seconds claim time. 
But, you know, by the time we get to that planet to loot the stuff, either the enemies will have respawned. <clears throat> but this guy doesn't have the patience to wait 30 seconds for a ship to come, as we've already learned. Or um, our inventory will bug out again and we can't put anything in it. The inventory is not bugged. You just don't have an inventory at that location. It's not a bug. You just don't have any, you just don't have any storage space because all you're wearing is an undersuit. And this game is completely riddled with bugs like that. Like I was in a in a. The game is the game does have bugs. That's true. The game does have bugs, but these things that you're talking about are not bugs. <laughs> you're trying to you're trying to comp you're you're trying to complain about things uh saying that they are bugs uh when the, when they are not bugs Friend <clears throat> ship he was if you'd like to if you'd like to make complaints about a game i suggest that you actually find legitimate um you know if you're going to complain about a game having bugs actually find bugs don't just you know <laughs> don't complain about things saying that they're bugs when they are not because that just makes you look like you have the same amount of brain cells as a piece of burnt toast you know showing me around the galaxy right and he's just flying at warp speed mind you and i'm just chilling and suddenly my character just clips through the bottom of a ship and i'm in space i'm just stranded in space luckily he knows how to pilot the fucking ship so i imagine what probably happened here is he opened a door in the ship and stepped out of the ship while it was at warp and doesn't want to tell us that because it makes him sound like he's dumb unfortunately it's too late for that and he finds me and he opens his like his uh roof hatch and i get you know i get to drop in which, uh, the ship gravity pretty strong, like, nearly killed my character. But he had a med bay on his ship, so I was fine, but... If he had a med bay on his ship, but had to open a roof hatch, it was pr it was most likely either an 890 jump, <clears throat> or a Carrick. Um... Or I guess it could have been a Cutlass Red. Although I don't think the Cutlass Red has a roof hatch. Um, either way, I, I don't think an 890 Jump or a Carrick have roof hatches. Uh, but I believe that they have... Um, the, but they have the hangar. So yeah, if you're falling from space all the way down into the hangar, you're going to take a lot of damage. That's a long fall. Gosh, man. Like, he had to pay hundreds of dollars for that ship. Hundreds of real life dollars or buy it just you know in game with in game currency that you can earn for free just by doing missions and buying the ship you don't have to spend any more than the initial $40 that you put into the game at all whatsoever period choosing to spend any more than that is not a fault of the game it is a fault of your friend for or or of this guy for you know wanting to spend more money okay he didn't grind it out doing space mining or anything like that sort you know a lot of the people that currently play this game uh they just pay money for the ships and then they fuck around with them and that's just how they play it and that's a very that's a actually a very small portion of the of the player base um i have uh i have a discord with several hundred people in it and most of them are people who um have you know only have a starter pack or maybe have a starter pack and like one more ship um but they have a lot of ships in game because they spend time mining doing bounty missions doing box missions um etc to earn the cash to um to buy new ships and that's what they that's what they find exciting about the game is because they can use their you know little ship to um to earn money to buy a bigger ship and then use that bigger ship to earn more uh, more credits to buy an, an even bigger ship and stuff like that and that's part of what the game what makes the game really fun
And by the way, these loading times are insanely long. I, uh... You're just gonna have to take my word for it. I'm not... The initial loading time is... The initial loading time is long, but then you don't have any loading screens after that unless you, uh... Unless you die or go to prison. Because, uh... Because everything is, um... Everything is rendered in engine and everything is fully, you know, you, you know, you, there's no, there's no loading time to go from planet to space. There's no loading time to go, you know, from one area to the next. So, it, so you were complaining about there not being loading screens earlier and now you're complaining about there being, about there being loading screens um, I would rather have one long loading screen and then never see a loading screen again for the next five hours or however long I'm playing the game, um, rather than have a somewhat short loading screen, but then have to see a loading screen every single time I walk in or out of a building or try and go anywhere else. Not gonna re but that's my personal preference. Anyways. Spawn back in that room, you know, with an, a fixed inventory. I'm going to respawn back in the bed where this video started. Uh, you won't have a fixed inventory you, because your inventory was not broken in the first place. Um, what you will have is what you will have is your local inventory. So I, I guess I should explain how inventory works. So essentially you have essentially you have your local inventory and you have your personal inventory. And your local inventory is the inventory that you have that is stored at a specific area. And so this can be either on a ship that you own, or it can be on or at a landing zone. And then your personal inventory is anything that is carried on your person, whether it be in your armor or in your backpack. You don't have a you don't ha so you don't have a local inventory at the bunkers because you are a civilian and do not have access to the inventory there. And you don't have a personal inventory uh, because all you're wearing is an undersuit, which is basically, which is basically the equivalent of like running around in like a leotard. You don't have any pockets. You don't have anything. You don't have anywhere to store anything. If you'd like to have an inventory wherever you go, I suggest you buy some medium or heavy armor and equip a backpack. Which. Like, this is a 20 minute long video, so I basically threw away 20 minutes of my life for no progression. Uh, yeah, I'm, you get to keep the quest money, but it's. Um. You chose to. Uh, you, you're, you chose to, uh, exit the game back to the menu. Um. Yeah. It's like piddly little. Like, it's a first quest. I can get a lot done in I can get a lot done in twenty minutes in Star Citizen. Um, you know, if if I if I was mining, if if I was doing mining, I could have uh, gone back, cracked an asteroid, and come back with you know three hundred k worth of quantanium by now. Most of the game, it's not like money that is worth it. And why the hell was the turret shooting at us and decided to randomly stop? I don't know. I'll never know. The game, it's, I wanted to succeed and be good. See, look, I'm back in the room again. And, and again, he says that he wants us to succeed and be good. But in the first couple seconds of the video, he explicitly said that he doesn't, that he hates the game, that he will never play it, that he will never support it, etc. So he's contradicting himself here. Back in the room again. Here we are. Let's check our inventory. And uh, we, we have medical gowns, backpack. It's like I just got rolled back. Like, let me tell you, <laughs> I got way rolled back, okay? Also, I, f I think that this guy is also, a, is also a liar. He said that he has not paid for the game. Um, and doesn't plan to pay for the game, but I'm pretty sure what he's got sitting there in his inventory is the, um, is the, uh, Invictus blue and gold paint for the Pisces. And we know that he has the Pisces, so clearly he has purchased the Invictus, uh, Pisces package. Good job, buddy. Nice try. 
I had these medical gowns, this backpack, and these five heels six hours ago. Why the why the fuck do I have these back? Hang six on, hours he, ago, he, a lot. He, he he hovered. Six over hours Let's ago. Why the? Even... Oh. Yeah, C8 Pisces Invictus Blue and Gold Livery. There it is. There it is. He has purchased the game package. <clears throat> So, so what he said at the start of the video was just a complete lie. So, now you know about how credible any of this dude's opinions are on this game. Why the fuck do I have these back? Six hours ago, a lot of a lot has passed. I I went on a just a a team killing spree, killing and raising my crime points as high as possible, going to the prison planet where you have to mine rocks to escape. And I lost all this shit, and now I have it back. No, you didn't lose it, because it was not in your personal inventory. It was in your local inventory, <clears throat> as I just explained. But again, uh, again, this guy is so determined to paint the game in a bad light that he is refusing to try and learn anything about the game so that he can just complain about things saying that it's a bug and who knows if who knows i mean i i and i can't say maybe he's just actually this dumb that he does that he doesn't realize maybe he just actually has the iq of an amoeba and just doesn't realize the difference between a local inventory and a personal inventory which could be the which could be the case if he's never actually like bothered to equip any armor or anything whatsoever or the alternative case is that he knows but he is playing dumb in order to paint the uh paint the game in a bad light Back. six hours later i don't i don't get it i don't fucking get it this is not a playable game this is absolutely it is playable. You have been playing. If it was not playable, you would not have been able to load into the game in the first place. <laughs> Poor shit of a fucking excuse for an attempt to make a game. God, it's so bad. Anyway, guys, I'm so Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole if you're a fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right. <sighs> Hopefully, you guys have gotten through that whole experience with me with minimal loss of brain cells. Oh my gosh, I feel like I am... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Essentially, essentially this, this dude's an idiot. Um, whether it be... Whether it be... Maybe, maybe, <clears throat> and, I mean, we can give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe, he's, maybe he is actually just that dumb that he just can't grasp he just cannot physically grasp the concept of basic game mechanics and logic and if that's the case i don't know get help i guess um but but in the alternative case if he does actually understand how the game works and is intentionally playing dumb in order to try and paint the game in a more negative light uh, in the most negative light possible then that's a then that's a bigger issue because that is that is essentially malicious willful willful ignorance um and that is you know, you know, for all of his, for all his saying that he wants the game to succeed and he wants the game to do well, um, we can, uh, we can apply some things like facts and logic to prove that that's not the case at all. Uh, let me just, let me just talk about a few things. First of all, first of all, you know, um, talking about constantly bringing up inventory bugs. Um, constantly bringing up the inv the inventory bugs, right? When uh, when he's wearing an under wearing an undersuit which doesn't have an inventory, and clearly when he opens the inventory, it says local inventory, not personal inventory. It's local inventory. So that's things that are stored at the station. These are things that are stored at Lorville. 
Uh, they are not on his person. They are at Lorville. Um, so he is not carrying them around. So when he says that, you know, he died and lost it all, no, he didn't. They, they've just been sitting here at Lorville the entire time. Um, and obviously when you go somewhere else, you're not going to have access to... <clears throat> your uh to your lorville inventory because you're not at lorville um and you don't have a personal inventory because you're uh, you are not wearing anything that has any storage space whatsoever i suggest you try putting on some armor putting on a backpack and then you have personal inventory um when you're on a ship you will have local inventory because uh, because you're on a ship that you own, and thus you can store things in the ship. But when you're at places like bunkers, you're not going to be able to access the local inventory of the bunker because um, because there is no local inventory of the bunker that players can access. So that's something like that. Um, the bigger the bigger thing that makes me believe that he uh, that he knows about the mechanics of the game, but is intentionally uh, intentionally. Obfus obfuscating things to make it seem worse than it is is the thing about the tooltips like I talked about um, the tooltips that will appear in the bottom middle of the screen um, these are always on by default and in order to make them not show up you have to go in and turn them off which means that he was aware of the tooltips existence. He was aware that the game does give you tips and hints and um, and guidance on how to use the controls and how to uh, how to how to navigate the game. And he has intentionally turned that off in order to make it seem like the game has nothing like that. <clears throat> uh, there's a few more things, but g goodness gracious, I've been doing this for over an hour. <sighs> this was stupid. This is one of the dumb mistakes I've ever seen. Um, I've ever seen um, about Star Citizen. In you know, it, it's 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 extremely it's extremely stupid. The dude is either either stupid or or willfully and maliciously ignorant, um, obfusca obfuscating things and and intentionally doing things like, for instance, deactivating his quantum drive while he was trying to. Um, just to make the game seem like it is worse than it at worse than it actually is, and then you know trying to make it trying to hide his tracks by saying that he wants the game to succeed when in the first couple seconds of his video he obviously said that he does not. Um, <clears throat> and and while I'm saying while I'm saying this, I'm not saying that Star Citizen is a perfect is a perfect game. It's obviously not. It has it has a lot of problems, has a lot of bugs, um, and these are things that people in the community are extremely aware of. And those of us who play the game and follow the game, part of what we enjoy is finding these bugs and reporting them to the developers so that they can get fixed and we can watch the game progress and we can support this project. That's something that I personally really, really enjoy doing. Um, and I mean, I, I mean, I love Star Citizen. I think it's a I think it's a great game. Um, obviously, it's not for everyone. If you don't if you don't enjoy the simulator um, RPG game loops, you know, the things that the game does to be more immersive, including, you know, taking the tram, the f the um, seamless transition from planet to space, being able to fly your ship anywhere and do whatever you want, whenever you want, with uh, with no no restrictions tying you back, no uh, no invisible walls, no cutscenes or uh, or loading zones, um, you know, and. I, and some people love that and some and but for some people it's it's not a game that's for everyone and I completely understand that um, I I do love the game though and um, and I am hoping for it to succeed and I'm very excited for some of the things that we are going to be getting in the near future 
Anyways, uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a, I know it has been a long one, um, and I really appreciate everyone who has stuck with me all the way to the end of this. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and join my Discord, where we have a great community of star citizens, and we are growing every single every single day. Um, I interact with everyone uh, in that Discord, so please do feel free to. Uh, to do feel free to join and uh, come chat with me. Uh, I love to see your beautiful faces in there. Um, anyways, um, oh, one other thing. Um, you may have noticed a little join button that has appeared down next to the subscribe button on my channel. I have opened up channel memberships on YouTube. Um, so if you would like to help support me and my content, feel free to check, click that join button to join the channel membership and uh, help me out a little bit there. Anyways, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me this long. Um, so have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the verse.